Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Quantum Break, and I'm going to be showing you guys the Monarch Solutions live action. Um, I ended up cutting the last episode after I made the, the choice of PR or Hardline, uh, mostly because for the live action, you need the sound to be, uh, you need the, um, the sound effects volume to be all the way up. Otherwise, you can't hear what's happening. For whatever reason, this is under sound effects volume. Uh, so I'll probably end up having to cut it like I am here, where you'll cut after the decision. I'll let the live action play, and we will uh, we'll continue from there. Uh, but this is what I had to do because you couldn't, you literally couldn't hear anything. So this is what I'm gonna do. Um, I'll have little dialogue talk as we go along here, but I'll try to be quiet for the most part. But let's get into this. I believe it's about, it's pretty long. It's not a, it's not a short thing. Uh, and we'll end up watching all of these, and I'll probably. Um, you know, these short, short these short um, decisions, you know, we'll go ahead and upload them in close proximity with this. So we'll probably end up averaging about four episodes of this per day. Uh, maybe, I don't know how long each thing, but uh, whenever a, a choice happens, we will uh, we'll upload that as a, as a fourth part in a day. Uh, so let's hop into this. I'll throw my little two cents in as we go. Uh, but let's hop in. This is actually really, really well done, and it's really fun to watch. Go ahead and get those controls off of there. So I watched about 15 minutes of this already, trying to figure out the, trying to figure out the time or the volume. So I have seen part of this. Time's up. The one in the middle, I assume that's your mother. On the left, of course, your father. And on the right, the little one. How old is she? One fourteen Lafayette. Is that correct? That was taken not five minutes ago by my associate, Michael. What do you want? I want a statement. And you don't want Michael outside of your house a moment longer. What happens to me? Well, that's entirely up to you. I'm so glad we could work this out. I was never ever able to put eye drops in my eyes. I always sucked at it. Liam, walk with me. Seems your work's been undone. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. How the fuck does that happen? Knowing how isn't important, you just need to find him. Wincott is working on a location. Great. What is it? What? Something's wrong. The university. That's not how we operate. It was sloppy. Have all your operations gone smoothly? Go home, Liam. Wait for the call. I'm sure your wife misses you.
Good thing about our friend Stan is Stan makes it easy. See, the guy goes around using the same username and password everywhere he goes. Now, <laughs> that means that his cloud isn't so protected. May I present to you Exhibit A. <laughs> wow, God, this guy's swinging for the fences. And the... what is that? What are you doing, Bear? It's a coffee cup. No, I know it's a coffee cup, but what is it doing on my table? The fuck? You know what this is? Do they have these in Idaho? Iowa. Whatever. Use it. You tell me what's next, Brenner? I don't know. I know you don't know. And that makes me sad for you. All we do now is upload our girl's video to Stan and our friends at WZWY, send Stan a note with some of his private pics, and last but not least, we post a letter. That letter allows Reclaim to take full responsibility for everything that's happening. Signed sincerely, your local terrorist, Jack Joyce. You can say it. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> Mr. Hatch, perfect timing. Me and Brenner, we just dug up some major dirt on uh, <laughs> on our news director over at WZWY. He'll be uh, he'll be running our copy and posting that girl's video within an hour. Good work, Woodcock. Where are we with Joyce? Joyce? Uh, well, I I got a lock on his transpo. I mean, I've hacked into his camera. And I'm waiting to find a locale. It's not it's not it's not incredibly easy. Keep an eye on it, and when you find him, contact Burke directly. I think we have a traitor in our midst. Traitor. Hello? Hello? I'll let you go, Mr. Hatch. Thank you. Was that Martin Hatch? Get the fuck out of my office. Get the fuck out of my office. Things have been really bad at work. I'm sorry. I just... I dreamt you were a cat. A cat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All these big furry bear paws. Way too big for your body. It was a strange creature. But I knew it was you. I have to get back to work soon. You work more than any field manager in the history of field managers. I know. <sighs> Baby, you haven't been home in two days. My question is, is she, does she just hang out in bed all day? Your like... mom's being difficult. Oh, I'm, I'm, she is, I'm being, being difficult, huh? She's being very difficult. <laughs> what happened? <No. laughs> I don't think that's the baby. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay. You went. <laughs> Okay, go. 
Like, cause seriously, what's she doing? Yeah. She's just like sitting in bed. Burke, you got a lead on Joyce. What is it? I was able to track his transpo to a warehouse on Burgundy and Wilkins. It's inside ground zero perimeter. Sending you the coordinates now. rebuild this great city, transforming it into an economic powerhouse over the past... research and design. And with Monarch's greatest investment in the future being right here in Riverport, it's pretty clear how bright the future is for all of us. Hold. There's been a development. Jack. You've already seen it. Tonight on the island. He'll be there, and he'll want revenge. I need him stopped now. I think our focus may be somewhat misguided here. Your fifth column, traitor? You shouldn't take it so lightly. Joyce got lucky. He escaped. He's gone. He wouldn't be foolish enough to come back. Our only vulnerability is within, Paul. You should see that. Telling me what I've already seen. You're not thinking clearly. You need your treatment. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Martin. But let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. And I simply don't want to see you go down with it. Just find him. We take you now to Riverport University, where a violent showdown shook the town last night. Joining us now is Amy Ferraro, an eyewitness on the scene. Amy, tell us, what is going on here? There were people from our group who took things too far. Things got very violent. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. I want people to know that he is a very dangerous person, a terrorist. Two bacon and egg sandwiches? Oh, Sounds like a terrifying thanks. day down there. We really appreciate your bravery going on record to speak out against what appears to be such a dangerous person. What's up, IT? And you wish I was IT. Hey, you don't have security clearance being here. Security clearance. Access granted. I thought you might have been up all night, so. You didn't get the runny kind, did you? No, it shouldn't be. It's cool, they're new. Oh, man. Fiona Miller. Terminated. You're fired. So what the, what's the 411? What the hell's going on out there? <laughs> the 411. Yeah, the 411. <laughs> uh, everything's, everything's fine. Everything's fine? Everything's fine. There was a shootout at the university last night. Nothing I couldn't handle. All right. You think they're gonna cancel the party tonight? Are you kidding? No way. 
Hatch knows what he's doing. You gonna go? To a party? Me? Go to a party. Uh, we can roll together if you want. Okay. Yeah, all right, I'll, I'll go. Okay, buddy. What are you gonna wear? Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll go naked. Nice, I like that. Um, I gotta get back to my desk, so. See you tonight? Yeah. I'll see you tonight. Yep. Yeah, he is one gullible idiot, buddy. what she just did. Wonder what she, what information she stole from him. Because there's no way that she actually just wants to go out with him. That's too easy. It can't possibly be that. This isn't what it looks like. Fuck, Beth. I really didn't want it to be you. You need to listen to me. Step away from the van. Step away! Right now! Drop the gun. I can't do that. You have three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. Then you're a marksman for shit. No. No! He's gone. Do you see what's happening? The stutters. More and more. Beth, Beth, what is, what is going on? Time is breaking down. The end is coming, and Joyce could be the key. Wait, 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 wait the, the, the end, the end of what? Beth, the end of what, the of end time, of what? Of time, of time, of life as we know it, the entire universe, gone. And somehow, Monarch has been preparing for it. They knew it was coming. There's this thing. It's called a lifeboat protocol, and it can save us, at least some of us. Three hands on your head, down on your knees. Brown. Wilder, do not make me ask again. Ooh. Joyce just took down half my men. You think maybe he had some help? We're unarmed. I was responding I to I not give call. a fuck. Hey, I am with Monarch. On your knees! If they take me in, then it's the end for me. And for you. Down! I'm just do what he says. Do not let them take us. We'll never find the lifeboat. Think about Emily. Just relax. Leo! Shut up! My real question when this stuff happens is, who the hell hired these people who can't even... They, they have guns. What are they doing? This lifeboat protocol. What is it? I don't know. But Dr. Kim was at the center of it. Dr. Kim? If you can get into his lab. That's impossible. It's been closed up since he disappeared. Do you know anyone who could get you in? This guy is way too trusting of her. Come on, guys. Tony Nine down. I like how they had the subtitle for him go.
Charlie. I need a favor. Yeah. Okay, um, can we talk somewhere in private? Uh, I'd really rather not. Let's in your office would be good. It'll be really quick. Yeah. So what happened with Joyce? Oh, there's nothing there. Huh, there's nothing there? He, like, he just wasn't there, like, or what? No, Hatch, he, um, he reassigned me. He wants me to secure the perimeter lab on the island. He thinks Joyce might go there. He sent me here to get access to it. Can you help me out? Yeah, sure. Let me uh, let me see what I can do. Thank you. You know, it's really funny that you say that uh, that lead on Joyce was no good because I don't know. Uh, it sure looks like he was there. And that other guy kind of looks like you, but that's weird because you work for Monarch, and that guy clearly. <laughs> Clearly does not work for Monarch. Now, I can zoom in. Hey, hey, wait, stop killing me. Because I just put a high security alert out on your ass. You got about 20 seconds. You're bluffing. Hey, you're welcome to stick around and try to find out. You know what I'm going to do to you. I have a pretty good idea what Monarch's going to do to you. In about 15, 14, 13. OK, 12, we can count down from 11, 15. 10. Where does he think he's making luck, it in buddy. 10 seconds? Nine, eight. We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. Listen up, he's on level B near the main overpass. Just a reminder to Monarch employees, get your flu shots. They are free of charge. Get them in HR. We gonna get some action in this live action? These are the worst security officers ever. What kind of crap is this? He took him down without batting an eye! I'm disappointed in those guys. I'm disappointed in this guy trying to ride the escalator. Tony was trying to take him down. And he's just riding the escalator. Let's not run up the escalator. Let's just casually walk. He's not invincible. He's not a fucking superhero. Brenner, I'm dealing with it. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> he's in the building. Yeah. This is the worst security in the history of security. South parking structure. I repeat, south parking structure, fourth floor. These mofos are a disgrace. This dude better go get his wife. That is a nice car. It's probably gonna get shot to hell. Oh, I wonder which car Second is gonna... Second floor! You gotta cut him off! I wonder which car is gonna outspeed the other. He's heading out the entrance! He better go get his... You better be going home! I'm just as disappointed as he is. What kind of security is this? Who hired these guys? Okay, he's heading south on Eastman. South on Eastman. He better go get... He's gonna have to make a quick stop. Stop looking back. Phantom team, he's headed to you. He's flying. Look out. Copy. Cut him off. Cut. Go. You cannot... You can't be serious. These SUVs are keeping up with that? It's a Nissan Z, right? What's he doing? That car should be putting them in a... putting them away. Oh, don't shoot the car. Well, the car eats the bullets pretty well. Go 
Bar Street. He's headed to the alley. Copy that. How on earth is he? Is he going home? save him or this is gonna be the end until I play more yeah yeah I knew it I knew it all right guys that's gonna do it for that that was fun um I really enjoy uh, when games put in uh, st well there's nothing like this has ever happened before I don't think except if you want to include defiance but that was like a TV show not a little like live action thing. But that, that, that's cool. It's like an episode of actual TV. It's cool. We can watch it together. I can give you my input. There wasn't a whole lot that I could throw in there except for the fact that why is Emily, who is just sitting in bed, not watching TV, not doing anything? She just looked like she was just sitting there staring in the space. Like, what the hell is she doing? And then at the end, those security guards, those aren't the same security guards that I'm fighting, even though they're, they don't get the job done still, but... Uh, that's going to do it. In the next one, we will start Act 2, Part 1. Um, I will get to work on editing the last video. It will cut off all of a sudden. You guys will see. Um, I apologize for that. That was because you couldn't eat in any volume. That's essentially what it was. So, we got that all sorted out. I'll get this bad boy uh, set and ready to go. And we will uh, we'll hop into Act 2, Part 1. So, I'll catch you guys then. Peace out.